Shalom, beloved. What an awesome privilege for us just to meet with the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who upholds us, the one who sustains us, and the one who truly, truly loves us more than anyone could and will ever love us. But he's also the one that helps us, that goes before us. He's the one who makes a way where it even is impossible for any man to make a way. But he's calling out to his church and his bride to trust him and to believe him. To hold on to every single word that he speaks and have been spoken. What is so wonderful for us, so beautiful, so glorious for us as Christians is that we do have his word. That we can go to his word and to him any time of any day, anywhere, any place. I pray, beloved sister and beloved brother, as you are watching, that your heart will also be encouraged, that your head will also be lifted, that we have a king and we have a God and we have a savior and a friend who understands us, who understands the world, who understands the issues of the world more than we could ever think or dream or imagine. He knows every single person, spends 24 hours every day with every single person living on the face of the earth. You can ask him anything about anyone at any time and he will be able to give you an exact account of that life, their life, your life and my life. But for those of us who have accepted Christ, who believes that he is the only way, who believes that he is our Lord, our Savior, who believes that he paid the price for our sins and our iniquities, he walks with us. He literally holds your hand and my hand and your family's hand and my family's hand. And he says to us, he speaks to us through his word. It's more than just a promise. It is truth. It is absolute truth. For the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the way the truth and the life. And he says these incredible words, these amazing words, these words that brings us comfort, these words that brings us hope and steadfastness. And he says, I will never leave nor forsake you. And I've taken that to heart because the God that I believe in never lies. He will not say something that there's not weight behind what he says. And I really take to heart that the Lord speaks to his people, the people that belongs to him, those who follow Christ, loves Christ, that he will never leave nor forsake us. Even when things seem to be upside down in this world, and we all know that whatever happens in Jerusalem, happens in the world but it should never steal our time that we spend with our Savior time that we make for him to give us clarity of mind and clarity of spirit and clarity of hope and he's the potter the master potter the one potter that can take a heart in his potter hands and form our heart so that there's no hatred and no bitterness. But our goal, our first priority is to spend time with him. I pray that as we are spending time with him right now, Maybe you are watching and that the Spirit of the Lord ministers to you right now.
and says to you, take heart. Don't be dismayed. Don't be afraid. Don't be misled by the words of the world. Because the words of the world will just get louder and louder and louder and more reckless than it's ever been. With social media and everybody's opinion going around back and forth, there's more confusion now than there's ever been. But again, I want to emphasize, beloved brother, beloved sister, for those who belong to the Lord, we are not influenced by the words of the world. We are influenced by the word of the Lord, the word of the word himself, the one who became flesh and dwelt amongst us. For in the beginning was the word, and the word is still with us, and the word is unchanging. The Lord does not change in character. He does not change in person. He does not change in who he is and what he says and what he is saying is going to happen. And we should take heart. And I pray as you are watching, maybe you are going through a storm. Maybe you are throwing, going through really a difficult time. Maybe things are really hard in your life. I am not sure where you are finding yourself. But many people that we speak to and we counsel and visit us, we see that they are going through severe storms. And the only encouragement that we have for them and they have for us is hold on to the word of the Lord. Spend time in the presence of the King. There is nothing that compares to the presence of the Lord. We never spend time with the Lord and leave empty. Whenever we spend time with Him, truly spend time with Him, when we come to the Lord and we say, Speak to me, Lord, He speaks. Because His Word reminds us that we have a good shepherd, a good shepherd with a good voice. A voice that leads us and guides us. A voice that continues to speak to us what is on the heart of our Abba Father. What the Spirit of the Lord is saying. What the King, the Lord Jesus Christ himself is saying to his church and his people and the world. And he's calling the world. It was a time that I was lost. And he called me and I found him. And I found the treasure of unmeasurable value. The true treasure. Teresa and myself, soon we will be married 40 years. Megan who constantly and faithfully plays and is in ministry with me. She's expecting a little girl and her name is going to be Emma. And the Lord is adding to our family yet another blessing. And we are so thankful. We have seen so much grace and mercy in our family. And I often just go down on my knees and I just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would know how grateful and thankful my heart is, for the mercy and the kindness of the Lord. In spite of many things that have happened around us to friends of ours and to us ourselves, we are astounded by the mercy and the grace of the Lord. And we too have not always escaped storms. But the Lord has always been in the boat with us regardless of the storms we have faced in life. And we have taken our refuge in that. We have seen the hand of the Lord. We have got to know the presence of the Lord. That he never leaves. He never forsakes. 24 hours a day the Lord is with us. Seven days a week the Lord is with us. Every month, month in and month out the Lord is with us. 
If I look back at all the years in my life, even before I got saved and got to know Christ Jesus as my Lord, my Savior, my King, the Lord has been with me. Looking back now and I see how many times I have escaped death. And you all know that for yourselves as well. How mercy and grace has found us when we were still the enemy of the Lord. He was our friend. I pray, beloved brother and beloved sister, that your head will be lifted up as you watch. But not only as you watch this moment, as you spend the rest of the day and the rest of the week and the rest of the month and the season that we are finding ourselves in, as we pray for Jerusalem, as we pray for peace, because prayer has so much value. There is so much power in prayer. The Lord says, pray without stopping. And prayer is a wonderful venue of communication to the King, the true King, the true King above all other kings. All other kings will fail. As a matter of truth, truth they have already failed. But the Lord Jesus Christ, and please take note of this beautiful, glorious name, the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of all, the one who's looking after you and looking at you and preparing you as he is preparing us to be this perfect bride that he is coming back for. He is preparing us. So when we stand prepared for him, it is for his glory and his glory alone. I love the presence of the Lord. It has carried me. It has helped me. It has sustained me. It has lifted my head at times that my head was really downcast. Looking back, all I see is the faithfulness of the Lord. I could never but to love him with all my heart. And as for me and my family, we treasure him being our first love. Because no one has ever been as kind and as good to us as the Lord. And I pray, beloved brother and beloved sister, if you are going through a storm, if you are going through loneliness, if you are going through a hard time, if you have maybe lost somebody really close to you and you are working through that pain, and you are working and mourning through that season. I pray that the Comforter will take you in his comfort comfortable hands. And that he will hold you and sustain you too. I know that the Lord is our shepherd. I know that the Lord is the one that goes before us. It's not like we are stepping into the unknown. We are stepping into the known because the Lord is known by us. And because the Lord is known by us, going into the future where we cannot even see, sometimes not even imagine what is out there, we have the assurance He is out there for us. He goes before us. And in closing, I want to say this. His word is still a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. So beloved brother, beloved sister, child of God, Christian, wherever you may find yourself on this planet, whatever nation or country you belong to, we belong to the King of Kings. Pray for those around you. Reach out to those around you. Pray for the Spirit. of the Lord to bring peace to the hearts of those who follow Christ. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the government of your nation 
as we pray for the government of our nation. Pray that their eyes will be open, that they too will meet the Lord Jesus Christ, find forgiveness, find strength, find purpose that is greater than selfish ambition. But in this time of worship, as we have closed the door, I pray that the shalom, the peace of the Lord will find you. And let's just hang out here, stay here a little longer as we just sit at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ and let him minister through us and let him minister to us. Shalom. Peace. Joy, strength, love, and righteousness to you, my beloved brother and my beloved sister. Oh
Oh. 